Hey everyone, it's Laura, and today we are making beaded bracelets. I'm using some stretchy cord, and I want you all to see how using a binder clip to pinch the very end keeps all the beads from falling off. You can also use a spring for that. You can find those at any craft store that has a beading section, um, and they're very, very handy. You can do all kinds of different patterns um, or techniques when you string a bracelet. You can um, use a needle to go back through beads to make it look like daisies. You can actually do macrame as you do it if you're using a cord and not stretchy stuff like me. Either way, um, you're going to thread all your beads on. You want to make sure that this is long enough that it goes around your wrist or the intended recipient's wrist without being stretched on their wrist, you want it a little loose. Nobody likes cutting off the circulation to your hand. Um, it can stretch to go over your wrist, but you don't want it stretched on. You also don't want it too big so that it will fall off your hand while you wear it. Um, if you're going to use something that's not stretchy, you'll want to use a clasp. And if you use a clasp, you just start with that on one end and bead until you get to the length you want, and then add the other part of the clasp on that end. What we're doing that's different with this, which is why I'm showing you this in the first place, is the glue. Glue is th your friend with these. I used to think that I could tie a knot and call it a day, but the knot will loosen and my bracelet would fall apart. That's just part of life. But if you tie the knot at the end and use super glue or E6000 directly on the knot, it will not fall apart on you. It will stay in one piece for however long you want it. So you can make works of art for your friends and for yourself and never have to worry about them breaking. So tie your little knot. You're gonna get it as close to the beads as you can and you can actually stick a little pin in it or a needle to help take the knot as close to the beads as possible. And then grab that glue and stick it right on the knot. And when it dries, you have a beautiful bracelet that you can wear, hopefully with clothes that match it and not my red plaid shirt that I wore with this. That was a choice. And done.